Today I'll be talking about insulin pumps by comparing several features and I'm going to start right after this. What is going on? My name is Abdul Bashawuth and welcome to another video. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn about drugs and diseases, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. This is a second video on diabetes devices series. The first video is about comparing four most popular CGMs. CGM stands for the Continuous Glucose Monitoring Devices. And if you have not watched that video, be sure to watch it. I'm going to start with the basic to bring people not too familiar with the insulin pumps up to the speed. So what is an insulin pump? An insulin pump is a small device that mimics some of the ways a healthy pancreas work. It delivers continuous and customizable uh, doses of rapid acting insulin 24 hours a day to match your body's needs. The pump provides insulin to your body in two ways. Uh, basal insulin is a small amount of insulin released continuously throughout the day. And bolus insulin is the additional insulin which can be delivered on demand to match food intake or to correct the high blood sugar. So what are advantages of using insulin pumps? Uh, it gives you more flexibility in life, uh, predictable and precise insulin delivery, reduces the risk of low blood sugar, help with the dawn phenomenon. Uh, here are some of the disadvantages of insulin pump. You will need to check your blood glucose sugar more often. Uh, there is a risk of diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA, with the breakdown of these pumps, and they are expensive. Who should consider using an insulin pump? According to the consensus statement by the American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists and American College of Endocrinology, uh, this consensus statement was published back in 2014. Uh, they stated that the ideal candidate for insulin pump is a patient with type 1 diabetes or intensively managed insulin-dependent type 2 diabetes diabetic patient uh, currently performing four or more insulin injections and four or more finger sticks uh, someone who is motivated to achieve optimal blood glucose control uh, someone willing and able to carry out the tasks that are required to use this complex and time-consuming therapy safely and effectively uh, someone willing to maintain frequent contact with their healthcare team. Now, with the background information out of the way, let us now get to the main issue we are discussing today, and that is looking at the pros and cons of several insulin pumps. Before I start, I want to mention that most of the information I'll be sharing with you regarding the pros and cons came from this website called Integrated Diabetes Services. Uh, choosing an insulin pump doesn't have to be an overwhelming process. Should you go with a more traditional pump where you can monitor your insulin levels directly? Are you looking for a model that works with a blood glucose monitor and allows you to administer insulin via remote? Maybe you need a pump that offers integration with a CGM system. So with several models on the market, let me help you sort through the choices by taking a look at the popular insulin pumps and breaking down the various features of each. Please use the pump comparison to help make an educated decision. At the end of the day, the choice is yours. Let's start with the Tandem uh, T-Slim X2 and T-Flex insulin pumps. Uh, these pumps are FDA approved for patients six years and older. Let's look at the pros of these pumps. The X2 has software feature, updatable, through download from website. Uh, it has a bright full color touch screen, modern, high tech appearance, compact, thin dimensions, uh, rapid number entry, fastest bolus entry. It has two way Bluetooth. The X2 in particular allows full integration with multiple devices, including smartphones and CGMs. Uh, the T Flex holds up to 480 units of insulin. This is kind of nice. 
It doesn't require disposable batteries. You just charge it. It comes with a USB. Uh, it can calculate boluses up to 50 units. A uh, site change reminder with customizable day and time. Graphic on-screen history display. Carbohydrates counting calculator. Uh, insulin on board and time remaining displayed on home screen. Uh, missed bolus reminders customizable by day of week. Alert for high temperatures, secondary uh, bezel programs can be linked with secondary bolus formulas, limited and intended insulin movement with changes in pump position. Uh, the X2, uh, when it's integrated with a G6, with a Dexcom G6 and bezel IQ, it provides low prediction, I mean the hypoglycemia, low blood glucose prediction and basal suspend feature. Uh, this is very nice feature. Now let's look at the cons for these uh, devices. Unlock procedure required to perform any programming. No attached clip must be put in a case that has a clip. A tubing connector looks medical, can snag on clothing. A proprietary tubing connection cannot use third party uh, infusion sets. Bezel and bolus settings in same time. Slots may take several steps to edit. Extra confirmation steps with all programming. A weak vibrate mechanism. No meter integration. A company's long-term viability is uncertain. A pump is their only product for this company which makes this tandem and requires charging one to two times a week. Now let's look at the Medtronic Minimed 670G and this pump, this pump is approved for patients 7 years and older. Let's look at the pros for this pump. It has a large, secure, long established company. Absolutely, Medtronic is a, is a company leader when it comes to uh, diabetic uh, devices and actually many medical devices. Uh, industry leader in the research and, and development data from Medtronic Guardian CGM uh, displayed on screen. Automatic bezel shut off when low glucose detected by sensor. Uh, this one may prevent, uh, uh, prevent severe hypoglycemia. This is a very nice feature. A hybrid closed loop uh, called auto mode. Basal adjustment based on CGM readings and predictive al algorithms. High contrast full color screen, slim attachable slip, uh, slim attachable clip, sorry. Integrated meter serves as remote control for bolusing. Uh, frequently used boluses and temp bases can be stored as presets. Down downloadable to online care link program choice of slow or fast bolus delivery uh, generates insulin carb blood glucose statistics. Here are some of the cons for this um, device. Airplane, mo airplane mode option CGM and auto mode require additional finger sticks for calibration and safety checks. Maintaining auto mode requires a higher level of technical acumen and integration with the pump. Frequent system alerts in auto mode may become intrusive. Screen and text are relatively small. Insulin on board only de deducted from correction from uh, correction boluses. Downloading restricted to care link program. It's a proprietary program, so they don't allow third party. Uh, multiple menus and programming can be complex to master. Many buttons, presses, and confirmation steps in basic programming. Uh, companies' marketing can be overly aggressive. Let's look at the Omnimod Dash. Uh, this one is approved for all ages. Let's look at the pros. Uh, reduced upfront cost is cheaper. Uh, can program through clothing from a few feet away. Discrete pump size, no tubing minimizes waste insulin, no tangling, snagging, less awkward, no siphon effects. This is a very, very nice feature. 
uh, no connection, reconnecting means no missed lost insulin, simple automated cannula insertion minimizes discomfort, reduces human errors, create more site options. Uh, forced pad change reduces chances of lipodystrophy and absorption problems. Pump is fully watertight. Temperature bezels and boluses can be customized. Uh, presets, large color screen with text and graphing capability. Only two parts is the simple for travel uh, because it only comes with a display unit and the uh, part whereby it's a, it acts as a reservoir and a sensor you insert it on your skin. Uh, so let's look at the cons for this uh, insulin pump. Low suspend hybrid closed loop features in development, uh, no integrated CGM. Bulky programmer takes seven gestures to get to the bolus calculator, interface not intuitive. No integrated blast, uh, blood glucose monitoring, must use contour next blood glucose monitor for Bluetooth connection of blood glucose data to the PDM. A uh, pad creates a bulge on the skin. Maximum reservoir volume is only 200 units compared to the other one I believe it has like 480 units. Uh, needs charging every one to two days. Finally, I just want to briefly talk about a small study uh, that was done on the Medtronic Minimed 670G. Uh, it says new hybrid closed loop insulin pump proves hard to use for some patients with diabetes. Uh, this was published back in March uh, of 2019. Uh, it says among first time users of a new insulin pump that automatically delivers insulin to people with type 1 diabetes, nearly one-fifth stopped using the device primarily because of difficulties meeting the technical demand system uh, the technical demands system researchers say results of a real-world study of the hybrid closed-loop insulin pump uh, Medtronic Minimed 670G uh, so Goodwin and his colleagues at the hospital's diabetic clinic prescribed the device to 83 patients who requested it between May 2017 and September 2018 and who had experience with an insulin pump and CGM. A manufacturer's representative trained patient on the system. Patients ranged in age from 6 to 25 years with most in their teens. Uh, 16 patients, which uh, is 19%, stopped using the new technology within months the research team reported. Goodwin said the main reason for discontinuation was that it required too many calibrations or dissatisfaction with the device, forcing exits from the auto mode for various reasons. It goes to say again, a total of 58, pa uh, 58 patients who decided to continue to use auto mode had hemoglobin AC value A1C values, a measure of blood glucose control over several months for six months before and six months after starting to use the device. On average, after 97 days using auto mode technology, the group had an A1C decrease of 0.27%. Although this improvement was statistically significant, the decrease was less than that reported in the con in the controlled research studies, so this is a bummer. Um, you know when the idea of having a device like this, the closed loop device, uh, you are really hoping to take uh, control of your diabetes and uh, to dramatically decrease the A1C, but it looks like, according to the study, only 0.27. 0.27% decrease in A1C. And this goes back to the uh, 